Hi everyone. So, I wanted to make a video about these papaya trees that I have been growing um, over the summer and now in the winter. This comes to a stage now where they're kind of getting too big now. And the plan is to cut them all off, chop the heads off basically, and, and, and uh, shorten them. And that will allow them to regrow a new uh, shoot and uh, give me more time to keep them indoors during the winter. So at the moment, so these four are the biggest specimens. I mean, these are the biggest papaya trees I've managed to grow since I started last year um, from my trial and error. Now, as you can see, looking really healthy, new growth, currently in uh, October here in London. Now, in terms of the height, I'd say if you exclude the um, actual container, then it's probably about close to three feet tall. Two and a half to three feet tall, super fire trees. And I really don't want to cut them off. Uh, but I kind of have no choice. So the plan is to leave one, maybe this one or that one, leave it uncut, experiment with that, see how it overwinters and uh, maybe in a porch or something and the rest for them to be uh, cut so now over here I've sort of uh, done a trial of this process so you see this papaya tree if you look closely you can't really see from this angle but I've chopped off the top here and it's regrown a new shoot from the side here as you can see so this just proves that it does work. Once you cut them off from the top, it will produce a new shoot and regrow. The only thing I would say or recommend is, for example, um, like over here, like in the corners, you can see where the new growth could come from or the nodes. So what I would recommend is to chop it somewhere just above one of these nodes, so like over here. So then it regrows close to where you um, cut the... Uh, top off from um, now I think I might just, uh, just I probably think it would be best to cut them off around the um, maybe one foot mark so like around about here somewhere I was thinking six inches but it might be too small um, as you can see some of them like this one here has gone really curvy and bent some of them have grown sort of slide anyways. So when I cut them, they should re-straighten themselves. But yeah, I mean, uh, so far I've been having a lot of success and uh, with these papaya trees. The reason why I have more than you know one is I've kept five big ones this year. I'm trying to get them to fruit next year. So you want you know to have male and female flowers. So um, yeah, the plan is that uh, once I cut these uh, plants off, they should regrow to the same height in about, I'd imagine, two or three months. So by February time. And then I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best not to cut them again. And just, yeah, keep them growing. As you can see here, they look really good. The leaves, that is. Yeah. So yeah, keep, uh, I'll keep you guys posted and updated on these papaya trees. But uh, so far, so good. And uh, hopefully, we can grow some fruit next year. I just have to be careful how I water them over winter because they're very susceptible to rot. But, uh, you know, I've had so many papayas this year, I, don't, I didn't know what to do with them. I've just planted them in random locations as an experiment. I've kept one outside, see how that does all year round in the, in the cold and if it survives. But, uh, yeah. Everyone, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.